Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the vocal effects in Cakewalk by BandLab. When you record with a microphone, you can end up with some unwanted background noise that is noticeable between the words of your song. But one way to quickly remove background noise is to use a noise gate. In the tracks pane, click on the track number of your vocal track so it is highlighted blue. At the left side of the screen, in the inspector pane, click on the plus icon to the right of the word FX on the left column, which is the audio track strip for your vocal track. Move the mouse cursor over Insert Audio FX on the pop-up menu. Then move the mouse cursor over Dynamics on the pop-up menu. And click on Sonitus Gate on the pop-up menu. In the gate pane, drag the slider to the right of the word attack to the right until it says about 20 milliseconds in the white box to the right of the word attack. Next, drag the slider to the right of the word release to the left until it says about 20 milliseconds in the white box to the right of the word release. At the top of the screen, click on the play button. Carefully watch the input meters on the left side of the gate pane and watch how high the green level indicators are between the vocals. This is the level of the background noise. We act like zombies all of the day But when the night comes what can I say Cause we're all monsters, we're all monsters now Drag the input slider upwards until it is slightly higher than the background noise. The red indicator to the left of the gate shape diagram should now be red between the vocals and the green indicator should be green when there is vocals. We act like zombies all of the day what can I say? Cause we're all monsters, we're all monsters now. You Finally, drag the slider to the right of the word look ahead to the right until it says about two milliseconds. Now at the top right of the gate pane, click on the X icon to close the pane. If you need to open the pane again, Click on the Sonitus Gate in the Track FX list box. When most people sing, they sing some of the words louder and some of the words quieter than others, making some of the words too loud and some of the words too quiet in the song mix. But one way to make louder words quieter and quieter words louder is to use a compressor. At the left side of the screen, in the inspector pane, click on the plus icon to the right of the word effects on the left column. Move the mouse cursor over insert audio effects on the pop-up menu. Then move the mouse cursor over dynamics on the pop-up menu. And click on sonatus compressor on the pop-up menu. At the top left of the compressor pane, Click on the down arrow to the right of the words No Preset. Then click on Vocals GR4 minus 10 dB on the pop-up menu. At the top of the screen, click on the play button. The vocals will now show on the graph. The quietest vocals should be reaching just below the point where the line on the graph splits in two. If the quietest vocals are a lot lower, drag the input slider at the left of the compressor pane downwards until the point where the line splits in two is just above the quietest vocals. If the quietest vocals are above the point the line splits in two, drag the input slider upwards. 
Next, drag the slider to the right of the word attack to the right until it says about 20 milliseconds in the white box to the right of the word attack. And then drag the slider to the right of the word release to the left until it says about 100 milliseconds in the white box to the right of the word release. Now at the top right of the compressor pane, click on the X icon to close the pane. Getting the right microphone for your voice can be difficult and expensive. Some microphones can make your voice sound murky and bassy, and other microphones can make your voice sound thin and tinny. But one way to improve your vocal recording and even make it easier to mix is to use a graphic equalizer. At the top right of the inspector pane, click on the Pro Channel icon. If you cannot see the whole of the equalizer, click on the double down arrow on the console C header to collapse the console C pane. Now click on the on off button on the EQ header so it is highlighted blue. At the bottom left of the EQ pane, click on the HP button. Then place the mouse cursor over the HP knob just above the HP button. Then press the left mouse button and drag the mouse up the screen until it says about 200 below the HP knob. We act like zombies all of the day But when the night comes what can I say Cause we're all monsters We're all monsters now If your vocals sound too tinny, at the bottom right of the EQ pane, click on the LP button. Place the mouse cursor over the LP knob, just above the LP button. Then press the left mouse button and drag the mouse down the screen to remove the higher frequencies from the vocals. We act like zombies all of the day. If your vocals sound too bassy, place the mouse cursor over the HP knob, then press the left mouse button and drag the mouse up the screen until it says about 400 below the HP knob. We act like zombies all of the day, but when the night comes, what can I say? To help your vocals stand out in the sound mix, just below the graph, place the mouse cursor on the second knob below the high mid button. This is the Q knob. Then press the left mouse button and drag the mouse up the screen until it says about 10.0 below the knob. Now place the mouse cursor on the third knob below the high mid button. This is the gain knob. Press the left mouse button and drag the mouse up the screen until it says about 4.1 below the knob. You should now see a slight peak in the graph. We act like zombies all of the day But when the night comes what can I say Cause we're all monsters, we're all monsters now Finally, at the top right of the inspector pane, click on the Pro Channel button again. Once you've created your own vocal FX setup in BandLab, you can save it and use it in other songs. To save your track as a template, right mouse click on the track number of your vocal track and click on Save as Track Template on the pop-up menu. Now double click on the audio track templates folder in the pop-up window. Then double click on the vocals folder in the pop-up window. 
At the bottom of the pop-up window, type in a name for your vocal track template, then click on Save. To add your vocal track template to a project, right mouse click in the empty area of the tracks pane. Place the mouse cursor on Insert from Track Template on the pop-up menu. Then place the mouse cursor on Audio Track Templates on the pop-up menu. And then place the mouse cursor on Vocals on the pop-up menu. And finally, click on the name of your saved vocal track template. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.